Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back again to GOA Fish Farm. I'm back again with another video. So today I'll be training you guys on how to treat your fish, how to treat your pond, and I'll be uh, making an evaluation of the best treatment, the best cure for your fish. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, like, and leave any question for us at the comment section. You know, number one, you need a glass of water, that is a glass empty cup, you can see it. You need your spoon, then you need your salt. Now, one thing you should note is this. Salt is what we use in killing fish. Salt is also what we use in treating fish. If you want to kill your fish without using your knife, just put maximum or enough of salt and put the fish there. Once the fish uh, uh, swallows the salt, it's going to die in the next two minutes. But here, in the treatment, there is measurement. Now, for this cup, you are going to take two teaspoons. Just observe. Right, this is a teaspoon. See there. All right, that's the second. Then you take your water. Now that you have your water, you will now mix till it becomes so transparent. For it to dissolve. <laughs> Somebody say it looks like palm wine. It's not palm wine, no. Don't drink this. If you drink this, it's too sharp. <laughs> so, although it looks like palm wine, but let's say fish palm wine. <laughs> if there's anything like that. So, now you see, I'm mixing it for you to get dissolved so it becomes very transparent. So, you leave it for about five minutes for it to dissolve. So, your fish is already out. You have to now get your fish, quarantine it. You see now, look at what we want to cure in this fish now. Let's say because of this injury, and this injury now, you see that there's a bruises here. So, and because it's my female bruise stock, I want to heal it, uh, uh, heal the injury. So, all I need to do is to use salt solution. So, now, I've mixed the salt. It's ready. I'm getting it ready. So I wait for it to dissolve very well. So this bucket that you are using is my quarantine pond. Let's say you have you have a pond like this, that you use a special pond or a big bath like this. Just a place that you're going to quarantine that affected uh, fish. If it's having a, a bloated tummy, if it's bloated tummy that it cannot, you know, it cannot swim very well. So swimming on the normal place is having his tummy place on top of the water and it's taking, it's finding it difficult to swim. That bloated tummy is something you can cure using salt solution. All you just you can do is take a needle, put it in. After taking out that fish, take a needle and take, uh, open the tummy, put the tummy at the top, and use that needle to punch a hole inside that bloated tummy and press the uh, uh the the foam out the foam the water the foam air water is inside press it out and put the fish inside a quarantine bucket or a quarantine pond that is a special pond and then you use this salt solution now look at this water now you see that it is dissolved it's almost dissolved so we we move it again you see that it's very it's not transparent that's turned from wine a uh, palm wine look to pure uh, water look so we make it dissolve so that and why, why i make through the process of dissolving of that let me quickly take you to the second solution which is the bitter leaf solution now bitter leaf solution you get a bitter leaf you can see this is a, we have the plant in our garden so what i just need to do is now i have my bitter leaf but now that i have the water ready you have to make sure that your pond that you are quarantined you have 50 liter 50 liter quantity of water at least in the pond for this cup of salt two spoon that has been dissolved you must have 50 liter in your pond that is quarantined so what you now do is now that you drink it then you mix the water you mix the water with the water where the fish is so you see then you leave it 
So in the next three days now, you see that this fish, the injury will be off. And if it is as if there are bacteria there, everything will be all clean. So now, that is for the first method of treating a fish, the traditional mode. Now, let me take you through the second mode. Now we've cut the bitter leaf. All you need to do is, you need to wash the bitter leaf. Take the water. Now, if it is the pond that you want to wash, you can use this same leaf, bitter leaf, like without my pond knife, I want to tap a leaf, I want to wash it now. I can use this bitter leaf to scrub inside the tapolin and then use water to rinse it. It will be clean from every fungi or bacteria that is there. But I also, I can use salt and a foam or sponge. I put salt in the water, put foam, and use it to scrub the pond. It will be clean. Or you can use formalin. Buy formalin, maybe five liter, put it, dry out your pond, make sure it is dry. Put the formalin around the pond, but be careful because formalin can pepper your eye. So it's always a uh, uh, very sharp. So use it to wash the pond dry. After when it's dry, then put, put pour fresh water, rinse the pond, and flush it out. Then you can stock your fish. So back to what I'm saying, the bitter leaf. So now this is my second fish that I'm saying. Okay, assuming it is injured. So the water is not up to 50 liters. So all I need to do is add more water. So I'm using this as a quarantine area that is where you are putting so once you have this you see the water now all i need to do is to mix the bitter leaf with the water now once i mix it now every injury or bacteria that is affecting the fish will be killed and the fish will be ill and well healthy so these are the two traditional modes of treatment. But let's say you are the one that does not like traditional mode. You know, I told you that we have different fish uh, drugs in town. But the best which I have used in the past uh, five years that I know and is working is one, fish mycin. You can see, fish mycin. If you go to any fish feed shop where they are selling fish feed, do it all those shops, tell them you want to buy fish mycin. They will sell for you. Or you buy fish biotic. Fish biotic. Fish biotic. So if you get either fish mycin or fish biotic, both work perfectly well. Now, how do you use it? You see, this fish my fish biotic now, you get your feed. You mix it with your feed. Once you mix it with your feed, use it to feed your fish. You do this consecutively for three good days. After three days, stop and observe. If your fish are dying before, they will not die anymore. If they are not eating well or they are having erratic uh, swimming, they will be very active in swimming. The same thing with fish mycin. So this is how to go about your fish treatment. So these are all the available ways of treating fish. Now the question is, which of this method is the best? The truth is the best is using of the, uh, your salt solution. Salt solution is the best. However, you have to follow the measurement. And the procedure, or else you might be experiencing a problem of killing your fish yourself. If the, you can imagine, assuming I pour a lot of salt inside this and I put the fish, so I'll be experiencing a lot of you can see now that the treatment is ongoing, the fish is already taking re responding to it. So the water is going to help them in getting the treatment. So these are ways of treating your fish and also don't forget i told you that if it is your pond that is infected that you think is infected take away those fishes in the pond now use formalin to disinfect your pond formalin is a chemical it's like what i go to those people selling chemicals selling a, 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 any chemical shop just that they want to buy formalin buy about five liters depending on the size of your pond use it to sprinkle it around your pond use it to wash your pond in the next six hours put in fresh in water and clean the pond, your pond will be disinfected. Always try to run away from an unclean environment so that your pond will not be infected. So these are all the methods of ways of treating your fish. If you are new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, like, and leave any question for us at the comment section. And if you want to reach out to us, you can reach out to me on 
51. Or visit our website www.goa underscore farm.com. So, until the next video, stay blessed.